In chemical thermodynamics, activity symbol A is a measure of the effective concentration of a species in a mixture, in the sense that the species' chemical potential depends on the activity of a real solution in the same way that it would depend on concentration for an ideal solution. The term activity in this sense was coined by the American chemist Gilbert N. Lewis in 1907. By convention, activity is treated as a dimensionless quantity, although its value depends on customary choices of standard state for the species. The activity of pure substances in condensed phases, solid or liquids, is normally taken as unity, the number 1. Activity depends on temperature, pressure and composition of the mixture, among other things. For gases, the activity is the effective partial pressure, and is usually referred to as fugacity. The difference between activity and other measures of composition arises because molecules in non-ideal gases or solutions interact with each other, either to attract or to repel each other. The activity of an ion is particularly influenced by its surroundings. Activities should be used to define equilibrium constants but, in practice, concentrations are often used instead. The same is often true of equations for reaction rates. However, there are circumstances where the activity and the concentration are significantly different and, as such, it is not valid to approximate with concentrations where activities are required. Two examples serve to illustrate this point. In a solution of potassium hydrogen iodate KH IO3 2 at 0.02 m, the activity is 40% lower than the calculated hydrogen ion concentration, resulting in a much higher pH than expected. When a 0.1 m hydrochloric acid solution containing methyl green indicator is added to a 5 m solution of magnesium chloride, the color of the indicator changes from green to yellow, indicating increasing acidity, when in fact the acid has been diluted. Although at low ionic strength. Definition. The relative activity of a species I, denoted I, is defined as A I equals E mu I minus mu I R T Display style a underscore i equals e caret frac mu underscore i mu underscore i caret ominous r t, where mu i is the molar chemical potential of the species i under the conditions of interest, mu oi is the molar chemical potential of that species under some defined set of standard conditions. R is the gas constant, T is the thermodynamic temperature, and E is the exponential constant. Alternatively, this equation can be written as mu i equals mu i plus r t lane a i display style mu underscore i equals mu underscore i caret ominous plus r t lane a underscore i in general, the activity depends on any factor that alters the chemical potential. Such factors may include, concentration, temperature, pressure, interactions between chemical species, electric fields, etc. Depending on the circumstances, some of these factors may be more important than others. It is important to note that the activity depends on the choice of standard state such that changing the standard state will also change the activity. This means that activity is a relative term that describes how active a compound is compared to when it is under the standard state conditions. In principle, the choice of standard state is arbitrary, however, it is often chosen out of mathematical or experimental convenience. Alternatively, it is also possible to define an absolute activity 
lambda, which is written as lambda i equals e mu i r t display style lambda underscore i equals e caret frac mu underscore i r t topic activity coefficient the activity coefficient gamma which is also a dimensionless quantity relates the activity to a measured amount fraction xi or yi in the gas phase molality by mass fraction y amount concentration c or mass concentration rho i a i equals gamma x i x i equals gamma b i b i b equals gamma w i w i equals gamma c i c i c equals gamma rho i rho i rho Display style a underscore i equals gamma underscore x i x underscore i equals gamma underscore b i frac b underscore i b caret ominous equals gamma underscore w i w underscore i equals gamma underscore c i frac c underscore i c caret ominous equals gamma underscore rho i frac rho underscore i I row caret ominous the division by the standard molality bo or the standard amount concentration co is necessary to ensure that both the activity and the activity coefficient are dimensionless as i s conventional the activity is the same regardless of the ways to express composition and the standard state chosen so the above expressions are equal when the activity coefficient is close to 1, the substance shows almost ideal behavior according to Henry's law. In these cases, the activity can be substituted with the appropriate dimensionless measure of composition xi, bi, bo or c, co. It is also possible to define an activity coefficient in terms of Raoul's law, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry IUPAC recommends the symbol F for this activity coefficient, although this should not be confused with fugacity. A I equals F I X I Display style a underscore i equals f underscore i x underscore i. Topic: Standard states. Topic: Gases. In most laboratory situations, the difference in behavior between a real gas and an ideal gas is dependent only on the pressure and the temperature, not on the presence of any other gases. At a given temperature, the effective pressure of a gas I is given by its fugacity phi, this may be higher or lower than its mechanical pressure. By historical convention, fugacities have the dimension of pressure, so the dimensionless activity is given by A I equals F I P equals Phi I Y I P P 
Display style a underscore I equals FRAC F underscore I P carrot ominous equals Varfi underscore I Y underscore I FRAC P P carrot ominous where phi i is the dimensionless fugacity coefficient of the species, y is its fraction in the gaseous mixture y equals 1 for a pure gas and p is the total pressure. The value po is the standard pressure, it may be equal to 1 atmosphere 101.325 kPa or 1 bar 100 kPa depending on the source of data, and should always be quoted equals topic mixtures in general equals the most convenient way of expressing the composition of a generic mixture is by using the amount fractions x written y in the gas phase of the different components where x i equals N I N I X I equals one Display style x underscore I equals FRAC N underscore I N Q quad sum underscore I X underscore I equals one the standard state of each component in the mixture is taken to be the pure substance, i.e. the pure substance has an activity of 1. When activity coefficients are used, they are usually defined in terms of Raoul's law A I equals F I X I Display style a underscore i equals f underscore i x underscore i, where phi is the Raoul's law activity coefficient. An activity coefficient of one indicates ideal behavior according to Raoul's law. Topic: Dilute solutions, non-ionic. A solute in dilute solution usually follows Henry's law rather than Raoul's law, and it is more usual to express the composition of the solution in terms of the amount concentration C in mole per liter or the molality B in mole per kilogram of the solute rather than in amount fractions. The standard state of a dilute solution is a hypothetical solution of concentration Co. Topic: One mole per liter or molality Bo. One mole per kilogram, which shows ideal behavior, also referred to as infinite dilution behavior. The standard state, and hence the activity, depends on which measure of composition is used. Molalities are often preferred as the volumes of non-ideal mixtures are not strictly additive and are also temperature dependent. Molalities do not depend on volume, whereas amount concentrations do. The activity of the solute is given by AC I equals gamma C I C I C A B I equals gamma B I B I B display style begin aligned a underscore C I and equals gamma underscore C I frac C underscore I C carrot ominous six P X a underscore B I and equals gamma underscore B I frac B underscore I B carrot Ominous and aligned. Topic: Ionic solutions. When the solute undergoes ionic dissociation in solution, for example a salt, the system becomes decidedly non-ideal, and we need to take the dissociation process into consideration. One can define activities for the cations and anions separately A plus and A. 
It should be noted however that in a liquid solution the activity coefficient of a given ion e CA2 isn't measurable because it is experimentally impossible to independently measure the electrochemical potential of an ion in solution. One cannot add cations without putting in anions at the same time. Therefore, one introduces the notions of mean ionic activity a new plus or minus equals a new plus plus a new minus minus mean ionic molality b new plus or minus equals b new plus plus b new minus minus mean ionic activity coefficient gn plus or minus topic gn plus plus gn minus minus where new New plus plus new represent the stoichiometric coefficients involved in the ionic dissociation process. Even though gamma plus and gamma cannot be determined separately, gamma plus or minus is a measurable quantity that can also be predicted for sufficiently dilute systems using debye huckel theory. For electrolyte solutions at higher concentrations, debye huckel theory needs to be extended and replaced, e.g., by a Pitzer electrolyte solution model see external links below for examples. For the activity of a strong ionic solute complete dissociation, we can write A2 A new plus or minus Gn plus or minus m nu plus or minus. Topic measurement. The most direct way of measuring the activity of a volatile species is to measure its equilibrium partial vapor pressure. For non-volatile components, such as sucrose or sodium chloride, sodium chloride this approach will not work since they do not have measurable vapor pressures at most temperatures. However, in such cases it is possible to measure the vapor pressure of the solvent instead. Using the gibbs duhem relation it is possible to translate the change in solvent vapor pressures with concentration into activities for the solute. The simplest way of determining activity of a component is by measurement of densities of solution, knowing that real solutions have deviations from the additivity of molar volumes of pure components compared to the molar volume of the solution. This involves the use of partial molar volumes. Another way to determine the activity of a species is through the manipulation of colligative properties, specifically freezing point depression. Using freezing point depression techniques, it is possible to calculate the activity of a weak acid from the relation B equals B 1 plus A display style B caret prime equals B 1 plus A where B is the total equilibrium molality of solute determined by any colligative property measurement in this case delta TFUs, B is the nominal molality obtained from titration and A is the activity of the species. There are also electrochemical methods that allow the determination of activity and its coefficient. The value of the mean ionic activity coefficient gamma plus or minus of ions in solution can also be estimated with the debye huckel equation, the Davies equation or the Pitzer equations. <laughs> Single ion activity measurability revisited The prevailing view that single ion activities are unmeasurable, or perhaps even physically meaningless, has its roots in the work of Guggenheim in the late 1920s. However, chemists have never been able to give up the idea of single ion activities. For example, pH is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion activity. 
By implication, if the prevailing view on the physical meaning and measurability of single ion activities is correct it relegates pH to the category of thermodynamically unmeasurable quantities. For this reason the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry states that the activity-based definition of pH is a notional definition only and further states that the establishment of primary pH standards requires the application of the concept of primary method of measurement tied to the Harn cell. Nevertheless, the concept of single ion activities continues to be discussed in the literature, and at least one author purports to define single ion activities in terms of purely thermodynamic quantities. The same author also proposes a method of measuring single ion activity coefficients based on purely thermodynamic processes. Use Chemical activities should be used to define chemical potentials, where the chemical potential depends on the temperature T, pressure P and the activity I according to the formula μ I equals μ I plus R T Lane A I Displacedyle mu underscore I equals mu underscore I carrot ominous plus R T lane a underscore I where R is the gas constant and micro oi is the value of micro I under standard conditions. Note that the choice of concentration scale affects both the activity and the standard state chemical potential, which is especially important when the reference state is the infinite dilution of a solute in a solvent. Formulae involving activities can be simplified by considering that for a chemical solution, the solvent has an activity of unity only a valid approximation for rather dilute solutions, at a low concentration, the activity of a solute can be approximated to the ratio of its concentration over the standard concentration A I equals C I C Display style a underscore I equals FRAC C underscore I C carrot ominous Therefore, it is approximately equal to its concentration. For a mix of gas at low pressure, the activity is equal to the ratio of the partial pressure of the gas over the standard pressure A I equals P I P Display style a underscore I equals FRAC P underscore I P carrot ominous. Therefore, it is equal to the partial pressure in atmospheres or bars, compared to a standard pressure of one atmosphere or one bar. For a solid body, a uniform, single species solid at one bar has an activity of unity. The same thing holds for a pure liquid, the latter follows from any definition based on Raoul's law, because if we let the solute concentration x1 go to zero, the vapor pressure of the solvent P will go to P**. Thus its activity equals P, P** will go to unity. This means that if during a reaction in dilute solution more solvent is generated the reaction produces water e.g. we can typically set its activity to unity. Solid and liquid activities do not depend very strongly on pressure because their molar volumes are typically small. Graphite at 100 bars has an activity of only 1.01 if we choose PO. Equals 1 bar as standard state. Only at very high pressures do we need to worry about such changes. Equals. Topic. Example values. Equals. 
Example values of activity coefficients of sodium chloride in aqueous solution are given in the table. In an ideal solution, these values would all be unity. The deviations tend to become larger with increasing molality and temperature, but with some exceptions. See also equals fugacity the equivalent of activity for partial pressure chemical equilibrium electrochemical potential excess chemical potential partial molar property thermodynamic equilibrium thermal expansion virial expansion water activity Non-random two-liquid model NRTL model phase equilibrium calculations UNIQUAC model phase equilibrium calculations <laughs>